There are a lot of ways to make money in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but if you want to maximize profits, here are some tips to make a ton of bells. The most obvious and consistent way to make money is to catch and sell insects and fish. Fishing and bug catching itself is pretty straightforward, but we do have a few suggestions that can significantly increase your payout. First, if you're low on pocket space and can't go to the store easily, we recommend releasing any bugs or fish that aren't worth a lot. For example, if you're ocean fishing, it's usually best to release any sea bass, dabs, or horse mackerels you catch as they are only worth 400, 300, and 150 bells respectively. Instead, you should try to fill your pockets with red snappers, barred knife jaws, or whatever other rare fish might be in season. As for bug catching, you should probably ignore common butterflies, yellow butterflies, and tiger butterflies in favor of emperor butterflies, peacock butterflies, tarantulas, and tiger beetles. Now keep in mind these insects aren't available all year, so keep an eye out for high value fish and bugs as you sell your catch to the nooklings. If you're struggling to find fish, you can also dig up manila clams on the beach and craft fish bait. You can use fish bait to spawn a fish near you. Once you have a decent amount of rare fish in your pockets, you can sell them at Nook's Cranny. However, there there are two visitors you should look out for before you sell anything, Flick and CJ. They buy bugs and fish respectively for a 50% markup. However, as of this recording, I've played New Horizons for almost two weeks and I've only seen Flick once. If you want a detailed list on bug and fish prices, I'll leave a link to a GameSpot story below. One rock every day will spew money when you hit it. You need to hit it eight times in rapid succession to maximize your reward, and because your villager will recoil when you hit it, it's usually a good idea to dig a few holes behind you before hitting any rock so you don't have to readjust. If done correctly, you should walk away with 16,100 bells every day. Just make sure your shovel is in tip-top shape because the last thing you'll want is your shovel breaking after a couple hits. For the price of 2,000 Nook Miles, you can visit a random, unexplored island. There are a lot of benefits to this, but some of these islands are ripe with money-making opportunities. Right off the bat, most of these islands appear to have higher spawn rates for bugs and fish. However, the real reason you should visit unexplored islands as much as possible is because you can occasionally stumble on rare islands. You could find an island covered in money rocks, or maybe an island crawling with tarantulas. Okay, that last one sounds a bit terrifying, but considering tarantulas are are 8,000 ahead, you could walk away with a lot of bells. We recommend emptying your pockets of everything except the essentials before you leave for an island so you can carry as much home with you as possible and have an even bigger payout. I typically try to visit at least one island a day, but if you have the Nook Miles, there's nothing stopping you from going multiple times. By traveling to friends in unexplored islands, you may come across non-native fruit. This can be any fruit other than coconuts, which sell for 250 apiece, and whatever fruit your island started with. You can sell non-native fruit for 500 bells each, or you can plant it. We recommend you do the latter. Once the fruit tree grows, you'll be able to sell a lot more foreign fruits on a consistent basis. Speaking of trees, you can also bury money in glowing spots which should sprout money trees. There's one glowing spot per day, and no, you can't bury a shovel in it to get a golden shovel like on GameCube. But you can bury some bells there, and the tree that grows will likely produce bags of money once when it's grown. The stock market, spelled S-T-A-L-K, is Animal Crossing Stock Market. Every Sunday, Daisy May will come to your island and sell you turnips for a fluctuating price, usually somewhere around 100 bells for 10 turnips. The idea is to buy turnips from her and sell them to Timmy and Tommy later in the week for a higher value. The catch is that turnips will rot after a week. Timmy and Tommy change their prices every day when they open and again at noon, so you want to check with them before and after noon every day to monitor the turnip's value. If done correctly, you should walk away with a decent profit. Once Nook's Cranny opens up, Timmy and Tommy will ask for a hot item every day. Basically, the hot item is something you can sell to the Nooklings for double the value. If you have a ton of extra wood, iron, and other crafting materials, you could craft the hot item multiple times and sell it to them for a much higher price. However, before you mass produce the hot item, I recommend selling just one and weighing its value next to the amount of resources you'll expend. Sometimes it just isn't worth it. If you just picked up Animal Crossing New Horizons, be sure to check out our day one guide and things you should do every day videos. Thank you so much for watching.